I'm coming from a, a practice. I'm very involved in, in what we call feminine embodiment practices. And I come from a background which was more, a, I call it masculine, masculine oriented spirituality, which is basically all spirituality. Let's like all religions, all spirituality was founded by men and basically for men. And, and most often for men who lived in monastery or were celibate or not involved in life. And um, so one of the, really the anchor to the, that presence, that anchor to the more spacious aspect of ourselves is, uh, has for me the last years been in my body. But the body is a very, very specific, very um, powerful anchor into the present moment because your body is always right here. We tend to kind of think that in order to access spirituality, we need to move away from the body, which is a very masculine. So that's the masculine part, concept. right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get in it. human consciousness, is there a place where there's no gender? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, what I see, like we arrive, I mean, we arise out of the same source, which has no get gender. But what's interesting is that everything that takes form has gender or almost like a life very often polarized in not necessarily gender, but in, in, in polarity, and we can call it masculine, feminine. Um, and what I find interesting is really to see that the way awakened consciousness take form has been somehow, uh, we, we have the, it's like a mythology almost, we have that it should look in a certain way. And the way we have seen it look, it has been basically through men. So it, it, it looks in a certain way. Uh, but so I, I'm what I'm interested to, to explore together with the women I'm exploring this with is how waking consciousness expresses itself through a feminine uh, form, and I think that is uh, something um, that we need to 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 explore because it's somehow missing in the big picture. If we fully incarnate here and see how we can express and contribute and be part of this complete dance that we are part of. And like what I'm talking about is to fully commit to incarnation, to fully participate in this realm that we have been born into. That is also a doorway into the exact same source because the source, I mean, this, this flash is, is arising out of the same source. So if you move completely into the flash, you arrive at the same place. So it's like it's nothing is separate from anything. And what I'm in, interested, interested in as in the spiritual investigation is really how, how we can uh, embody whatever awakening is here already. I think it is, a, you know, many of us have been um, kind of regressing in the way that we are always seeking something, you know, in the future. We're always seeking something else. Uh, right now, right now, this moment is fully experienced by what? That is completely 100% here. And let's just see how that can ooze out into this moment so we can create more beauty, we can create more awakening, we can create more um, a conscious world for everybody. Mm -hmm.